Lahat naman kayo nun, takot yun, takot kayo eh. And do not tell me na hindi totoo yun. Hindi ba? Kaya nyo inabsuelto si Michael Young at saka si Alan Lim. Dahil malapit siya sa dating Pangulo na nag-appoint sa inyo bilang ano? Ano po ang masasabi nyo tungkol dito? Then, eh, di parang di parang mas magaling pa mag-imbestiga ang Quadcom kaysa sa PDEA. Yes. On the same hearing, Colonel Asherto, you also mentioned panagutin sa kasalanan si Senator Bongo, si Senator Bato de la Rosa, at si former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Can you please enlighten us? What is the reason behind this articulation of yours? Kasi po, si, sa akin pong, sa akin pong patagay, sa, sa, sa nangyari sa amin, no, namatay ang akin, si retired Master Sergeant Liwanag at, nawa, at hanggang ngayon, missing pa si Captain Lito Perote na sila ang may kagagawan. At yung kanilang war on drug ay peke. Cover up lang yon Ang pinapatay, yung maliliit, pero yung mga malalaking drug personalities, katulad ni Michael Yan at Alan Lim, ay pinotektahan nila. Sa tingin niyo po, Colonel Asherto, what is the reason behind your allegation of cover up? Ang pinapatay lang ay maliliit at yung malalaking drug lord like Alan Lim, and Michael Young ay pinoprotektahan nila. Ano po ang dahilan? Laging palusot ng mga tiga PDEA at UPNP na wala daw ebidensya na si Michael Young at Alan Lim ay sangkot sa droga. Subalit, ayon kay Congressman Akop at Kung Hun ay sa dahilang malapit sila sa dating Pangulong Duterte. Kayo, anong masasabi ninyo? Eh kasi po, nakapatong sila eh. Nakapatong sila sa... Binabayaran sila ng, ano, eh, ng sindikato. Eh. Yeah, tingnan nyo lang po yung nagkinakuha ng investigasyon sa quad. Ngayon po, hindi lang po illegal drugs. Eh. Lumapad pa ho ang kanilang dalamay. Eh. Meron ng pogo, meron ng mga acquisition ng land. Uh, dapat po ito, pag-aralan mabuti ng uh, National Security Council sa Kanika. Baka ito po ay merong koneksyon sa nangyayari sa West Philippine Sea. Itong istoryang ito ay isang istorya ng limang magkakaibigan na uh, parehas ang trabaho. They were uh, working for government. Si Colonel Asierto, si uh, Captain Perote, si Colonel Fajardo, uh, Mr. Guban of Customs, at isang PNCO uh, named Jerry. They, were, they knew each other because of their work. But because of a life-changing report, Uh, made by Colonel Asherto uh, where he made some allegations in so far as the uh, for former mayor and former president is concerned. Would that be correct, uh, Colonel Asherto? Yes, sir. Yes. May I know why you made that report? Because that is my duty, Your Honor, Mr. Okay. Chairman. As a uh, police officer, I received an uh, Uh, an information, an raw information. I validated the information. Then, after validation, I made the proper report. Mm. And in that uh, report, you alleged that uh, the president, uh, former President Jigong was connected with individuals connected or involved in illegal drug activities. Uh, the persons you were referring to were a certain Mr. Michael Young and uh, Mr. Alan Lin. Would that be correct? Uh, yes, Sir Honor, but on the, my first report, there is no mention of the name of uh, President Duterte. Uh, uh, the name of President Duterte was, uh, was included on my second report that I submitted to then TPNP Oscar Albayalde. Thank you. And these reports were, the first one was submitted to then General De La Rosa, the chief of the PNP. And the second report was submitted to General Albayalde, also a former chief PNP. Tama po? Yes, sir. Tama po, sir. And uh, would it be correct na because of that report, uh, uh, former President Digong's reaction was, to publicly condemn you, even calling for your death and uh, for associating him with illegal activities 
including the alleged uh, sale of uh, 1,000 plus AK-47s to the uh, New People's Army. Would that be correct? Yes, sir, including the 10 million bounty on my head. Yes. Uh, and therefore, would you agree with me that that statement implies a personal vendetta against you for your allegations? Yes, sir. And because of that also, nafailang ka ng kaso for the sale of the AK-47s and for illegal drugs? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, we go to the role of uh, Jimmy Guban. Uh, Jimmy Guban, you're the uh, customs intelligence officer working with uh, Colonel Acerto, Captain Perote, Colonel Fardo. Tama po. Uh, we are working together, Your Honor. I beg your pardon? We are working together, Your Honor. Yes, kasi isa yung linya ng trabaho nyo. But Opo, Your Honor. But because, according to your statements doon sa unang hearing na napunta ka sa dito, sinabi mo na because of fear, uh, inamin mo doon sa hearing, doon sa Senate, na you accused uh, Colonel Asherto of masterminding a 13 billion shabu shipment in magnetic lifters. And you testified that Asherto facilitated the shipment, but later tip of authorities to intercept a part of it. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And uh, uh, because of this, uh, that controversial report of Colonel Asherto, uh, your colleague, si Captain Perote, a retired investigator, was allegedly killed. Uh, due to similar reports he filed uh, implicating Mr. Young and Mr. Lim. Uh, Colonel Lacerto, would that be correct? Sir, no, wala po. Uh, tama po yun, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pinatay si Lito Perote, yung kasamahan ninyo, because of alleged similar reports he filed implicating Mr. Young and Mr. Lim. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Siya po yung... Now, I do not know if this is uh, violated. There were reports that the skeletal remains of uh, Perote were discovered inside a drum in 2019. Allegedly, a DNA was conducted, but the results were never released. Are you, were you knowledgeable about this? No, sir. No? No, sir. Hindi ko po alam, sir. Okay. Pero may report na ganun. Now, uh, Colonel Asherto, you joined the uh, anti-illegal drug uh, uh, task Force of the PNP in 2003. Tama po? Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, this uh, task force was made because wala na yung NARCOM because of the PNP yes, law passed in uh, 1990. Tama? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tama po, sir. Yes. And uh, you stayed with uh, this task force up to 2017. Up to this, sir, uh, was relieved uh, 20... I think 2012, then I returned on 2017, sir. Yes, as the deputy for administration. Yes, sir. Yes. Unfortunately, in 2016, the former mayor of Davao became the president. Yes, sir. And in 2018, because galit na galit siya sayo, at uh, nagkaroon ng allegations na involved ka sa drugs, nagkaroon ng Senate hearing in 2018. Yes, sir. Tama? And the accusations... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the accusations against you were you were the mastermind of the 13 billion shabu shipment in July, 2.4 billion uh, shipment at the MICP or Manila International Container Port, stuff inside abandoned magnetic lifters, and 11, 11 billion of missing shabu suspected to be uh, packed in similar magnetic lifters found in Cavite. Ito po yung charges sa iyo, di ba? Apo, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, this was testified to also by your friend, uh, Mr. Guban. 
Yes, sir. And uh, I think he, he, he recanted, sir. Yeah, I know. Uh, in uh, in uh, a court hearing, I was informed that Mr. Jimmy Guban uh, recanted all his statements implicating you during that Senate hearing in 2018. Tama? Yes, sir. Now, may I know the reason why in one of your statements, sinabi mo na ang real drug lords are Mr. Alan Lim and Mr. Michael Young. May I know the basis of your statement or how did you be, uh, come to know about this? It was uh, relayed to me by my uh, reliable informant, sir, that they are involved in the uh, shipment of the illegal drugs, especially during the time of <coughs> uh, President Duterte. And all the drugs are coming through the Bureau of Customs. Uh -huh. Thank you. And uh, Jal uh, Wilkins, uh, Villanueva, uh, you were with uh, PIDEA with, in 2002, and you became the head in 2020. Tama po? Yes, Mr. Chair. And during that state of yours, uh, have you ever heard of the uh, involvement of Mr. Michael Young and Mr. Alan Lim sa illegal drugs? Uh, only uh, Alan Lim, Mr. Chair, and not, uh, no Michael Young, Mr. Chair. Up to 2022, when you became the PDEA head? Yes, Mr. Chair, kasi hin wala. Kasi, hindi siguro, ko. Uh, sige. Kasi, sir, wala ako natanggap na information, Mr. Chair. Eh. Ay, napakahina ang information nyo ng kwan, ng PDEA. Because in 2010, I became a congressman. In 2016, nandito ako, alam ko na na-involved si Michael Young. 2016, Mr. Chair, is nasa uh, Region 10 ako, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga, sinasabi ko nga, from 20, uh, 2002 up to 2022, nasa PIDEA ka. Yes, Mr. Chair. And yet, you tell me na hindi ka man lang nakarsib ng information ng involvement ni Mr. Yang, specifically from 2016 to 2022, dahil takot kayo na maglagay ng report na si Mr. Michael Young ay involved sa illegal drugs. Why? Kasi alam ninyo na malapit siya kay former President uh, Digong. Salamat sa panunood. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, at mag-share ng video. Hanggang sa muli.